When I first unlocked the Iron Age in the game, I was so excited to try out the new Iron Battle Axe, but it was underwhelming for me. It was super slow and hard to handle, so I just shoved it into a box and never really touched it again. But then when I saw the Crystal Battle Axe pop up after defeating an Iron Golem, my excitement reignited. However, after making it and trying it out, it quickly became nothing more than a display piece. It was a repeat of my original experience. So now that I'm revisiting older weapons and giving them a shot, I wanted to take the Crystal Battle Axe off its display and see how it handles Seekers in the Mistlands. 108 slash damage isn't bad at all, so I'm thinking it should be pretty effective if I can get used to it, even though I definitely know I need to train my Axe's skill if I'm going to be really effective with this weapon. But let's give it a shot. It was kind of weird, but I wandered around for quite a while trying to find Seekers. I feel like I've actually kind of hunted them to extinction, but eventually, here we go, a Seeker Soldier, but it's a one star. Now, I had never seen a one star Seeker, and I had a weapon that I was untrained in, unfamiliar with, so this was going to be quite the battle. I was very quickly reminded how slow this thing is to swing. And of course, I wanted to give blocking and parrying a shot, so... It actually works pretty well, but I'm a bit too high, so I can only get one hit in, and then, of course, it pushes me back and it staggers me. Yeah, terrain is always a problem. After what you'll see is another effective parry, I slash, but it misses. Even though I feel like I'm really close, I don't really experience a whole lot of range with this weapon, and it's just, it's not going too well. So I pop a bone mass, and yeah, this is a one-star Seeker Soldier. I'm taking a lot of damage. The secondary attack right here with the battle axe is it's just weird. It's a poke and it's quick, so that's kind of nice, but I, it's just it's really weird and it's just not what I would expect the giant battle axe to be for a secondary attack. I would expect a giant like long overhead swing like the regular axes are. This is such a long battle. I'm really not going to show it all. It's a secret soldier, so obviously it's just a battle with time, your stamina, but this axe is such a weird weapon and I'm just not used to it. It takes a long time. It takes the entirety of my bone mass that I've actually popped. So yeah, while I pretty much I'm going to show you the whole thing, I'm going to speed it up. And it's it was a 14 minute video clip. I'm just I'm not going to go through the whole thing. But it was a huge struggle and I almost quit multiple times. But I didn't. I came back every time, even though I didn't go too far. I kind of went above the ridge over here and then came back. And yeah, there were times where I used the uh, arbalest a little bit so I could whittle it down. I was I was really done with this weapon at the point at this point so I just I wanted to kill this thing and it just wasn't doing much damage I could barely get one hit in before it hit me it was rough but despite being really frustrated I was determined to kill it even if I wasn't able to have a you know my bone mass bonus I just I really wanted to kill this thing especially since at this point you can see it's really low and yeah uh, I really wanted to get the last slash in with my axe but it was just it was really hurting me after all that effort I wanted to get the last slash with my battle axe so I took it out even despite the fact that I had practically no health and here here we go. Definitely need to take a Dark Souls method for this because if it hits me, I'm pretty much down. But finally, after getting into some level terrain, a pretty epic end to a really frustrating battle. After searching once again for quite some time, I finally find a Seeker. So the fight was on, I slash it, and I noticed that my first slash seems to miss a lot. It's really weird. It's like the first slash doesn't have any range. The second one does if I'm able to actually get the second one in. It's just weird. I don't know. After that first one's dead, the second one comes. And yeah, that first slash, it's, it's just, it seems to go above their heads a lot. It's weird. Sometimes it hits, sometimes it doesn't. But man, yeah, that, uh, that first slash is always just, it's so incredibly slow and I'm just, I'm not having a good time. I know this isn't a seeker battle, but I just, I love how gorgeous the Mistlands can be. Just look at this. Beautiful, I think this was a sunset. Ah, oh, I had to stop, I had to take this cinematic shot and I had to include it here because it's just, it's so gorgeous. All right, moving on. Just a quick little seeker kill here. I feel like this battle axe actually did a pretty decent job here. Dispatched it pretty quickly, but it wasn't ideal. 
Didn't mean to sneak up on this one, so I feel like I scared a little bit, but yeah, it. Uh, I did a little secondary attack there and it didn't hit very hard, but obviously this is mainly due to my low axes skill, but yeah, it ends up dying. We're moving on. This is where the video starts to shift a little bit. Usually what I'll do is I'll end with a battle against a one star seeker or something like that. But this one's a little bit different. I dispatch this seeker with the help of that dwarven friend and a two star seeker comes out to play. I feel very ill-equipped to handle this fight. This weapon is so weird and unwieldy and I take a big hit and another one comes around. <laughs> yeah, did not go too well right there. You'll see in the background here that they actually took out my friend. Fortunately, I wasn't too far away from the portal, so I just naked rescue mission straight to my gear. That seeker, the two star was still there, but it ended up not staying around after I equipped my gear. I did search for quite a while and I couldn't find it. So sadly, we do kind of end on an unsatisfying note. I wish I would have been able to get revenge on it. I could have just did another adventure out in the night and find one, but no. Sadly, I'm kind of done with this weapon. So what's my conclusion on the crystal battle axe? I really just don't like it. I know. I know, I should probably give this weapon more time, more time to train up with the skill. It would be great probably, but I'm just not having fun. This weapon is so incredibly slow and I find it to not have the greatest reach despite its massive length. For me, this just ain't it. I'm not a fan, but hey, if you like this weapon, please tell me what I'm doing wrong. Is it really just the inexperience and a low skill level? Or am I not alone here and kind of not liking battle axes? Is there a favorite weapon of yours that you'd love to watch me test in the Mistlands against Seekers? Let me know. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.